Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, June 22nd, 2021. If you want to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And uh, we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And this has been an absolutely amazing day uh, for the market as a whole. Um, we saw last week a massive decline in not just indices, stocks, but also in major currency um, pairs, mainly due to the fact that the US dollar started to appreciate and uh, inflation fears were basically jacked up to uh, their highest and the market basically fell. And on Monday, we saw a massive rally uh, to the opposite direction, basically to the upside. So you can see that the Great British Pound, the US dollar, is up 1% at this current stage, trending just underneath uh, the 100 moving average at 1393. And uh, it probably has uh, some, if we break above the 100 moving average, we probably have another run at the 50 moving average and break above that, then we are talking about getting back to these previous highs here. Otherwise, if we get rejected by the 100 moving average, we could turn our, kind of depends on what happens with a US dollar, whether or not it starts appreciating or depreciating again. It was significantly overstretched and over, uh, overbought, so it was uh, going to fall today and this was always going to rally. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that we were way outside of the bullish band and today we are rallying inside. We could head towards the middle. That is just above the 50 moving average. And that's another in increase of roughly 1% to the upside. Otherwise, uh, technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish. The RSI is bullish, um, not overbought at this current stage. CTI is still bearish and the stochastic has crossed the second line, but still in negative territory but it is looking very likely that we are going to see this continue. Break about the 100, well, that basically makes it a challenge for the 50 moving average. So let's look at the US dollar Japanese yen. This has also rallied today due to the fact the US dollar started depreciating up nearly half a percent, took out the previous highs here on the Friday, and that kind of basically mean that we could go and test these previous highs here another half a percent to the upside and break above that. And then we are going to test these previous highs here in late March, early um, early April. If you look at the bullish band, we are getting really close to the top of the bullish band. So there's not a lot of room to the upside before we run into overstretch conditions. MACD is still uh, bullish, the RSI is bullish, the CCI is bullish, and so is the, the stochastic. It's kind of bearish at this point. Has crossed the signal line, and it's on the edge of being on the uh, positive or the bullish area here. So could see this rally a little bit, but there is not a lot of room to the upside before we are going to see this uh, pull back at some point. So 20, 40 and 50 have offered support in the past. So if we pull back to those support levels and that'll probably see where buyers come back in. So US dollar, Euro, US dollar, as you can see, we have rallied, but we have not crossed the 300 moving average up half a percent is not doing as uh, well as the you know, Great British Pound US dollar. So if we break above the 300 uh, moving average, then we could go and challenge the 100 moving average. And that is roughly, um, give or take 0.84% to the upside. We have just gotten um, above the bottom of the bullish band. So there's a lot of room towards the middle of the bullish band, all the way up towards the 40 exponential and 1.44% to the upside. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish. The RSI is um, is still in oversold conditions. So there's a lot more room to the upside in the Euro US dollar compared to, for example, the, the US dollar Japanese yen. Um, the CCI is still bearish. The stochastic is crossing the signal line, but in negative territory. So whether or not, it kind of depends whether or not we break above the 300 moving average. If we get rejected here, then we're probably going to challenge these previous lows again. And then if that breaks, then we're going significantly lower. Aussie dollar, US dollar, we have uh, rallied from the bottom here. This is looking really strong. Um, there's a lot of room to the upside towards the 300 mo to 200 moving average, 1.22% uh, to the upside in, until we get to the 200 moving average. Technically, in the gators, we can see the MACD is still bearish, the, the RSI is still uh, bearish and uh, were sold, and the CCI is bearish, and so is the stochastic. We have just found support down here at the bottom of the Bollinger Band, and 
there's a lot of room to the upside towards the middle of this, roughly 1.7% to the upside if we manage to break above the 200 moving average. Break below the 300, then we are looking for a massive drop to the downside. So US dollar, Canadian dollar. So is found resistant at the 150 moving average as it has done in the past. We saw it right here where it found resistant also at the 150 moving average and then fell substantially all the way down towards the, the, the support line, which we can draw a little bit better here. So that could mean that uh, we will drop at this point back towards the resistance line, which will be roughly at the, the 20 exponential moving average. If break below here, then we could drop back towards the very bottom. And that's a massive drop to the downside, roughly 4% to the downside if that were the case. We are still or bought. Technically, the conditions are still very bullish, but they are turning around. We were significantly overstretched here, so we were always going to drop here. The question is whether or not this drop continues. If we manage to roll over here and basically turn around here and cross the 150, then we're looking at the 200 and the 300 moving average. But this looks like massive resistance around this area here. And if you look at what has happened in the past, then this could mean that we'll drop basically the very lows here, roughly a drop of 4% to the downside. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos and good luck and thank you very much.